Oh well. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to test out this sunscreen by Garnier that is in a form of a spray. So this is the Sensitive Expert face sunscreen that is in a form of a spray and it does have an SPF of 50 and UVA protection. Now this one is supposed to be applied over makeup. So that's why it's so interesting. And well, first I'll say this again is not available in Serbia where I live, but I was able to get it when I was in Germany two weeks ago. So uh, yeah, I was really lucky to have found this one and by the way i did film a vlog in germany so you can go watch it right here if you're interested in my vlogs if not never mind okay now let's check out this sunscreen so this is advertised as a spray that can be applied on top of makeup so that's why it's so interesting and by the way i did try it once when i had no makeup on and right off the bat i can tell you that after using it once on my face this bottle feels half empty now so right off the bat i can tell you that maybe this is not going to last you a very long time but you know on the other hand it is a spray and you know cosmetic formulators did go an extra mile to create the sunscreen in a spray form that uh, can be applied over makeup so you know we have to appreciate that we have to appreciate that but something's got to give you are going to use this one up really fast anyways enough with that let's start with the claims okay so this is SPF 50 it does have both UVA and UVB protection it does not say on the bottle that it's broad spectrum so that makes me kind of confused but it does have a UVA protection as well in it it's formulated for sensitive skin so it can be applied around the eye area as well it's enriched with hyaluronic acid and it is supposed to be hydrating and non-greasy it's suitable to be worn under and over makeup but i wouldn't wear this one under makeup today i applied this one underneath makeup this is the anti-age super uv sunscreen by garnier as well and i do have a review on this one as well you can check it out right here so i applied a good two layers of this one and then i applied makeup on top and as you can see because I'm testing a spray for over makeup today I went ham on the makeup I have glitter I have eyelashes I have red lipstick I have full face of foundation and powder on top like everything <laughs> I applied everything because I really want to see how this spray performs on top of this heavy makeup because if you're wearing lightweight makeup that's not a problem but we want to see how it acts on top of heavy makeup okay so back to claims I wouldn't wear this spray as a base layer make sure that you apply a good base layer of uh, sunscreen in a form of a cream or a lotion and then save this guy up just for over makeup because you're going to use it up really fast anyway my advice is to save it for just just over makeup application okay now let's check out the ingredients so this one has hyaluronic acid glycerin and skull cup root extract now hyaluronic acid and glycerin are great humectants and they will hydrate the skin really well and then skull cup root extract is a great antioxidant so there's that okay now let's check out the UV filters so we have three not that strong UV filters we have homicellate octocrylin and ethyl hexyl salicylate now homicellate is not that strong not that stable but it is more so solubilizing the benzene that is also included here then we have octocrylin again not that strong but it is stabilizing other unstable uv filters like the benzene again and then we have ethyl hexyl salicylate again not that strong but it is solubilizing other uv filters and those three are not something but we do have a benzene that is a great uva filter but not that stable the only problem is that it is not stable but we do have other filters that are stabilizing it so that's great and and then we have ethyl hexyl triazone, which is a great UVB filter, provides you with a great photostable UVB protection. And then the star, the star of the show here is the Mixoral XL. Mixoral XL is a L'Oreal Group exclusive agent and only L'Oreal owned companies have this uh, ingredient. And this is a great UV filter. It's uh, highly photostable and it protects you in both UVA and UVB range. So there's that. Let's just say that, you know, because Mixoral XL is included and uh, ethyl hexyl triazone is included it does have decent uv filter uh, combination here so being that this is a spray i would say that uv filters are great okay now let's check out the controversial ingredients it does have one controversial ingredient and that is fragrance but then again if you're going to apply this on top of makeup you know makeup already has fragrance so i will just assume that you don't have sensitive skin if you're wearing makeup and that you will be fine as well with a little bit of fragrance in this one and one more thing it does not have alcohol alcohol if you're against alcohol there you go okay now finally let's see how this performs on top of makeup 
Okay, so here are the instructions of use. Shake well, close your eyes and pinch lips together, then spray generously and evenly on the whole face in a horizontal movement. Okay, I'm kind of scared, but let's try. I'm kind of scared that it will mess up my makeup and I'm scared that it will go in my hair, but let's try to avoid that somehow. Did I apply enough? Oh well. Okay, that's that. Looks kind of white. Okay, let me do a, a close-up shot right away. So this is right after application. I cannot touch anything because I will smear my makeup. It kind of looks white here. Here is how it looks. Like it's emphasizing my facial hair right here. And it looks kind of white. But let's wait a while. Let's wait a couple of minutes to see how it will set. I sure hope that it will not stay like this. Um, This is weird. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else that I needed to do? I'm not sure. So let's see. One more time. Close eyes, pinch lips together. I did that. Then spray generously and evenly on the whole face in a horizontal movement. I did that as well. It was very generous I would say and reapply fake frequency okay so I did everything that they said but I look kind of white and my facial hair is emphasized I look like I grew a little white beard here so um it has to be better than this wait do I tap it in? No, it doesn't say so. It's, you should only spray it. it. It looks as if I have little white droplets right here. So I'm not sure what to do now. So how do I fix this? It okay, I'm going to try going over this with a beauty blender just to see if it will look better. Let's try. Okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, that's much, much better. Okay, okay, that's a different story. Okay, this is good. Okay, that's better. That's great. Okay, now I'm loving it. Okay, let me give you another close-up. Here is how my makeup is looking after I apply the spray. And here is an extreme close-up. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm loving this. Okay, so I think I'm ready to give you my final verdict on this spray. So it's been like 10 minutes. I did leave this to set for another 10 minutes. I made a break just to see how it will end up looking after 10 to 15 minutes. And now that I'm looking at it, I can see that it did give me a little bit more glow, but it's totally fine. It's I'm not overly greasy. And if I wanted to mute down the glow, I would just use a little bit of the RCMA No Color Setting Powder on the areas where I feel a little bit too glowy and that would have been it so the fact that it gave me a little bit more glow is not a problem for me so as you saw in the demo application part at first I was scared because I had those little white droplets and it did look a little bit white and you know it was weird because of the little droplets on the face but my advice to you is just to have a beauty blender nearby just tap it all in right after application and leave it to set and you'll be good to go so the fact that this spray did not smear my makeup at all is amazing like my lashes are here my glitter is intact so it did not smear my makeup at all so the fact that this spray did not smear my makeup is amazing and I'm already loving it for that the only thing that I would maybe do is uh, add a little bit of face powder right here uh, in this area and that's it like you don't even have to powder the entire face with this so I'm loving it I really have to say I'm loving this product and I did mention earlier that this is my second use and let me just do a little check on how much is left yeah there's still product left I would say like it's around here that's how it feels it's around here yeah that's how it feels so definitely i will be able to use it a couple more times i i was wrong i thought it would last me only two to three uses but no they're still left in here so it will definitely last you for a couple of uses so if you take into consideration that this is a spray that should be used on top of makeup i would personally save this 
only for the days when I'm wearing a full face of makeup like today. I wouldn't wear this if I was just wearing a little bit of concealer and I don't know, I did my brows that day. No, I would still reapply the regular sunscreen. And this spray, I would only save for the days when I'm wearing full glam, full face of makeup, lashes, everything, because you can really reapply sunscreen over makeup with this one. And I don't think there's a need for you to wear it like if you're wearing just a little bit of makeup. So if you use it that way, this will last you for a while but then again it will depend on how often you wear a full face of makeup you know I cannot comment on that but I do not wear a full face of makeup very often so if I use this only for when I'm wearing a full glam this will last me for a very long time so that's that final verdict is I am loving this product and I'm totally recommending it to you guys in case you were looking for something that can be applied on top of makeup and will not smear off your makeup so there you go there you have it that's what be it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed and if you found it helpful make sure that you like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye